What's going on everyone, Dominic Dominator with the Veterans Den channel bringing you a video on navigating getting the ID card once you're 100% disabled. I do apologize for not putting out a lot of videos. Uh, I got, right. it seems like right after the holidays, I got sick again with the full-blown flu. After the flu, I caught pneumonia and then after pneumonia, I've had a lingering cough that just does not want to go away. So today I'm having a good day, so I figured I'd do this video and knock it out. Um, there may be a lot of breaks in between and editing it might look a little funny because if I start coughing then I'm just gonna you know cut it out of the video and you know Frankenstein it together but into the video so now that you have fought the uphill battle with the VA and you are now 100% disabled you now have the benefits of going on base even using the Mac flight which is uh, recent for this uh, January 1st 2020 100% uh, disabled veterans and retirees can go on uh, Mac flight, space Age travel, whatever you want to call them. So uh, as a request from one of my comments from a veteran wanting to know how do you navigate uh, getting the ID card, which is a beige, orangey looking card, just letting uh, the base guards know that you're a retiree or you're 100% disabled and what you are, what, what flavor veteran you are. So the way you go about that is first and foremost, you gotta be 100% disabled, uh, service-connected disabled veteran with an honorable discharge. Now, there is instances where if you have an OTH or other than honorable, uh, you still can get 100% disability and still get this. The only thing is the VA has to look at your military record in history. So for example, normally OTHs don't get this, but let's say, you were in for three years, you went to Iraq, uh, for the first two years you had this happen to you, your back, PTSD and all this other stuff. But on your third year, you, I don't know, let's say you got a DUI, you got into fights, whatever. So they kick you out of the military for OTH. So when you go to the VA, you will apply for your disability. So when you do your disability claim, they're going to look at your service record and see that when you got uh, hurt, injured or disabled, during your three year mark, when that injury occurred, were you serving honorably? So let's say once again, three years, let's say I'm that three year veteran. I went to Iraq, I got PTSD. I hurt my back from falling down or uh, roll over in the armored vehicle within the first two years. But then my third year, I started being a knucklehead and acting up. So they're going to look back and say, okay, yeah, we're going to grant it. You know, we're going to grant that he is service connected because he was serving honorably for those first two years and that's when those injuries occurred. Of course, on the flip side, if I go and apply and and uh, wanna get service connected disability, but I was pretty much acting dumb and young and, and a knucklehead and all that other stuff and just making crappy decisions, they're gonna say, well, you weren't serving honorably during this time. So that's an administration administrative decision. So that's a whole nother video and whatever. Um, if you have any questions about that, I can try to answer as best as I can in the comments below. But OTHs do have a chance of gaining service connected disability as long as they were serving honorably during those injuries or disabilities. So once you get 100%, now you have to go to the base and get your card. The way you do that is first and foremost, from the VA, you will need a printed letter stating that you are 100% service connected disability. So the way you do that, you can either go to your e-benefits, you can go to a, a veteran benefits counselor at the VA and have them print, print out a paper, or you print out a paper at home, and it will state, hey, this person is 100% service connected. I think it will even tell you how much money you're getting or whatever, and have you have all your information. It's a letterhead from the VA. Another thing too, you will need a copy of your DD-214 and two forms of ID. So now that you have all of that, the next thing you need to do is you need to go to Rapids ID. So that's uh, Rapids with an S, no apostrophe, just S put in the word ID. So the way you do that, you go to Google, go to type in Rapids ID like I, do, uh, like I did in this picture right here. Um, the only problem is for some odd reason, and I tested this out last week and last week it, it seemed to be up and running, but for some odd reason, the website is down as you can see here also. Um, so just keep an eye on that. Um, if you are actively pursuing to get this ID card, for your 100% disabled uh, veteran connection, blah, blah, blah. So go to Google, type in Rapids ID. Once you go there, you go to make an appointment and in the way it will work is on the left-hand side, it'll state what base you are trying to go to. So let's say I'm here in California, so it'll give you the list of all the bases or you can put you know the zip code or the city and they'll show whichever the closest one. I picked that base 
that is closest to me. And then I set up an appointment to go in and do all my paperwork. And it'll say, what are you doing here? Or what are you, what are you trying to get accomplished? And, you know, your ID card. And in there, there'll, there'll also be a little uh, paragraph stating, if you are coming in for this specific uh, line item or this specific item or, or trying to conduct this type of business, you will also need blank, 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 blah, 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 you know? So make sure you be aware of that because you don't want to show up to this appointment and say, hey, we need, you know, proof of your residence. We need a, you know, a, a, a service bill or water bill or something. So make sure before you go to that base and after you set your appointment, you look in there and say, make sure you, you know, check mark all the boxes of all the stuff you need to bring on top of your DD-214, two forms of ID and your service connected disability letter from the VA. So after you do that, you go there, submit your paperwork, you get a photo uh, taken of you and you get your cool little orange, yellow, whatever color it is, beige ID card and bam, there you go. Pretty simple, pretty easy. It's just the biggest hurdle is getting to 100% disability and also uh, just getting all your paperwork together, which is also easy. But the biggest thing is uh, getting 100% service connected disability. Definitely uh, uphill battle for some people. Um, but, you know, you, you, it's up to you if you make the choice on pursuing 100% disability if you really feel that you have a bunch of disabilities uh, connected to the military. So, with that being said, you know, with that being said, um, hopefully that was uh, helpful for you. If you got, definitely if you got any questions, comments, or concerns, please post it in the bottom of the video below. I will have a link to Rapids ID, hopefully, if it's up and running. Um, it, it should be up and running soon. I don't know why it's down. I just went today to try to get video of, it, of me actually doing the search. But if it's not, you can call the base and say, hey, you know, the website's down. I'm trying to get in there to get an ID card. What's up? I, what I got to do? Let me schedule an appointment. Blah, 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 blah. So thank you. Uh, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Please pass on to other veterans. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting veterans. Thank you for coming back to this video and, and bearing with me and, and my delay in putting out more content. I'm definitely going to try to put out more content often. Just just been real hard with being sick. And even right now, I'm holding back a cough and I'm flexing my stomach muscles to keep it down just so I can finish this video. So, so I can hurry up and go cough off camera. Come back, check us out, like, subscribe again. And I appreciate all you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful 2020 and you guys are having a great uh, February. Thank you. Carry on.